and we're back back on the attack welcome to the replay viewers welcome to the live viewers about to give a call giving a call to one of y'all let's see here um, we got a lead that came in this uh, like earlier today and it's a fire damaged house one of your favorite don't know if we can do anything for him or help him out or not but we're definitely going to give him a chance what up what up what up REI Drea in the building about to give a call to this seller they want to sell this fire damaged property fire damage not my specialty but i'm gonna jump in there and see if i can figure out some whoa 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 you know it for those who just joined and may not know my name is chris monroe the student master teacher mr i stay woke about to give a real estate call to a seller that came in this morning uh, let's see here it's supposed to be a three bedroom one bath it's supposed to be um fire damaged they only want six thousand eight hundred for the house Sounds about right. Maybe it should be cheaper. She says they owe about $3,800 in back taxes. But when I just looked it up, it looked like more than that to me. What's up? What's up? What's up? Let's see here. It looks like they owe a little more than that to me. No, they owe $4,500. So that's what it is. We're going to see how this work out. Give them a call and see if we can change their life. If you would do me a favor... Hit that little share button somewhere about right there, maybe, or right there. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Hit the share button. There's somebody who likes this real estate talk. Let's get them on the phone. Let's see if she home. Yep, she just texted back and said, yeah, she want to talk. Let's see. We want to record a call for quality and training purposes. And we want to call them from the same number they contacted us on. So let's see if we can create something. Probably not, though. We'll see. I shouldn't say. You never know. I actually did a house in the same area a couple months ago. Press 1 to connect to. Get your pens and papers ready. Take notes. Copious notes. You got to answer or what, buddy? Hail. 554. Thank you. What the hell? We'll, we'll try that again. So we're going to call this fire damage property owner again. She says she wants to sell and she wants to sell it well. So they want, what was it again? 6800 and they owe 3800 in back taxes. So they're trying to pocket about three grand. What's up, real estate old school? What's up, Rick? How's it going? So let's get this lady a call again. She spoke to my assistant this morning, so I'm just giving a follow-up call in the afternoon when they probably can talk. That's how I try to work this stuff if I can do it. Hey, how you doing? I don't know why they won't answer the phone. Hello. Hello, this is Chris. How are you? I'm okay, and you? Good, good. You had spoke to my assistant earlier in regards to your house over on Diamond Drive. I was just trying to get back with you. Did I catch you at a good time? Yeah, I'm fine now that I got you to answer, or you got me to answer. Oh, we were playing a little bit of phone tag, huh? No, it just took me a minute, and then the call went on. Okay, no problem. So, um, this house here, uh, she told me that it was pretty much uh, fire damage. I guess it's, it's damaged all over, or is it just some parts of the house? Yeah, Hold on for a minute, Chris. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, take your time. As we press mute, because I'm here for you, let's see what we can do. Did I press mute? I hope I did, because I'm up here talking smack, and I'm back on the attack. What's up, German? German wants real estate. German. German. How she gonna say I caught her at a good time and then tell me to hold on? You see how people do you? You can't never do right. You can't win. You can try to win, but you can't win. But this ain't the end. 
I don't even know her name. Oh yeah, she getting definitely a low ball offer. Put me on hold. Does she know who I am? I charge about a minute, man. I charge to be sitting on hold like this. So whenever she get back to on the phone, we're gonna get a little more detail about this fire damaged house. And it looks like it could be pretty bad, you know. They in the right ballpark. NYC tough market. Yeah, it's tough up there. SB real estate investor. What does the SB stand for? Hmm. Still beautiful. I don't know. What does SB stand for? I don't know how long she's going to me, have me on hold for. I text her and said, would you have time to talk if I call you within the next 10 minutes? They say, yes. I call. Still balling. Ding! I like that. SB real estate investor. Still balling. Buy up all the houses and still balling. Tell her this thing is bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> nah, it's your initial to your name. Okay. Yes, ma'am. This is Chris. I'm sorry, I apologize. Oh, no problem. I know life happens all the time. And what was your name again? Uh, Tony. Now, um, was your sister, was she able to see the uh, photos on Realtor.com? Uh, I saw some outside pictures of it. Uh, I saw it was kind of boarded up on a couple of windows. So is the entire house damaged or is it just a part of it? All the pictures were on Realtor.com. That's why I refer her to that age. It was not just the outside, it showed you the inside. Oh, wow. So they burned, uh, the whole house was pretty much burned up? No, it was like the, um, like the little side porch kitchen area. Like, it was the whole side porch, kitchen area. Over there, it smoke damaged the rest of the, uh, uh, areas. All right, how long has it been vacant for? Listen, I don't know. I think. It is in back taxes? Uh, like 3800 Oh, okay. I think it's less than there, like 34 but I'm going to say 38 Because I actually pulled it up on the county site, and it said a little bit more. I didn't know if y'all paid some of it or something. More than 3800 Yeah, it says about 4500 or so, 4600 online, but I don't know. It may, may be not updated online. You never know. No, we didn't pay anything. We didn't pay anything. got a new bill in November, so that's probably what it is, the last year, or for 2019. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they, so it's about, I guess, approximately 4600 So, has anybody ever uh, took a look at it to see what it would take to get it back up and running, to get an idea of, about how much it would take to get the house back livable? Uh, no, but I know somebody was going to buy it, but I don't know what happened for uh, 11000 but I don't know 
what happened with his financing or whatever, so... Yeah, with these type of properties, you got to buy them pretty much cash because no bank will really finance it. It's too high risk for them. Um, I don't know what kind of finance they had or was he getting it out his 401 or what, but he didn't get it. Oh, wow. he was going to, it was really close, but I don't know why he didn't get it. So, you know, he just left that alone. Right, right. And so I guess, uh, Tony, you're handling it for, I guess it's Danielle. Is that the, uh, your daughter or something, I think? Yeah. So you're pretty. Yeah, I mean, when, when the deal goes down, of course she's going to handle it. But I, I want to uh, continue to help. You know, her. I, I saw your number on a sign or something. I can't remember what it was. So she just kindly reminded me recently that she has to get rid of the house, just like she got rid of the old boyfriend. So. Uh oh, gotta get rid of all the old baggage. Leave it in 2019, huh? Okay. And so I guess it's boarded up, and I guess the best way to see the pictures is on the site, like you said. And um, so your main goal is just basically get rid of the house, not have to pay those taxes, and be uh, clear with the house. Is that your main goal? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. All right, and did they give a date or anything that they're going to take it to, like, uh, to sell the house for the back taxes or anything like that? Oh, no, that house is not uh, up on the, the, uh, the list. Not the yet. Back, what you call it? The, I Tax delinquent the list. list but no, no, it's not on there yet. Or it's not on there. So you got a few months before they start coming after you. Say, so we want our money or we're going to take your house. Well, I mean, the house came with the taxes, so I don't even smile what they do with it for real. I'm just trying to protect my daughter from the taxes. They really have them. So I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want her to have responsibilities from a man that she, you know, didn't deserve. How you gonna deed me a house that got tax on it? I don't want it. Mm. They tax me. So he made it like it was a gift. Hey, let me help y'all shit. Let me, let me deed this over to you. I'm going to give you a house. But that thing was problems. That's exactly how I feel. That's what happened. And I tried to tell her that you got to be careful with your taxes. You know, you got to be really look and research and look in the background. You know, but now we just got to get rid of this house. And I mean, so she gotta get off her because I don't want her to be owing no taxes. Right, that makes sense. And so you told my assistant that you wanted sixty eight hundred, is that correct? Mm-hmm. And where did you uh come up with that amount from? Because she uh owed the taxes. Which like you said, it's about think about forty two hundred right now, so I mean, you know, she had a headache and trying to find somebody, too. So, yeah, she wants some sort of profit. But if that doesn't happen, she just still needs to be clear of the deed. Right, right. So what are you all going to do if you're, uh, what you going to do if you're not able to sell it? I don't know. We don't know. We didn't pay no taxes. We didn't occur. It occurred. Right, right. And so, um, is there anything in the house that you all still want or anything that's left behind, or is it just you letting it go as Listen, is? The house, we don't, as is. We don't even, the house was just deeded to her. There's nothing in her. She never lived in it. She never incurred no taxes in it. So quick deed. Quick deed. Okay. She didn't know what it looked like or what. She didn't know. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to do a little research. Do you know, uh, have an idea what the house would appraise for? If you look on Realtor.com, you'll see it. That's why I got my information from. Before I even think it, he says it. 78 Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, what I'll do here is, like I said, is do a little research on it, see what I can come up with, and... Uh, is it best to call you back, or is it best to get with Tony as far as uh, working out details? 
Or get, oh, I'm sorry, get working no, with no, Danielle. No. Working out with Danielle. Sorry about that. Danielle, the other one. No, you don't call me back uh, because when you get ready to work out the details, it's still going to be both of us. But of course, she'll be handling her own business, but it's still going to be both of us. All right, bring, no. bring it back to you. Okay, Miss Tony, that'll work. Did you have any other questions or anything for me for right now? No, I just need somebody to look at it and say they want it. I don't really. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you, too. Did you did somebody have insurance on it or something before the fire, or did y'all not go that route with it? Yeah, see, that's the thing. And she don't even know. Like I told her, I said it sounds like whoever, maybe they did have insurance, and maybe they just went on with the insurance money and didn't pick it up. I don't know. We don't know. So, hmm. a lot of I don't knows, huh? Right. That's probably why it got needed to her. So, okay. There ain't going to be no way. Okay. So I'll see what I can figure out, because there's a couple of different routes we can go about this. I just have to see, you know, what options there are, and uh, I'll get back with you here soon, all right? You have a good rest of your evening, okay? All right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Boom! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What do she know? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. It ain't my house. It's her house. They got a deed to them. They got a fire. They got this. Look at Realtor.com. Let me look at Realtor.com. Y'all want to see how bad this house look? Do you want to see how bad? Give me some hearts if you want to see how bad it look. I want to see how bad myself. I'm curious now. She like, go to Realtor.com. Go to Realtor. See what they say. You need my help? Vision X? Where you at? Here. I'll bring you in. Quickly. Go live with Vision X. I bring you in live on the fly. See, I'm on the fly. I'm that type of guy. Decline. You declined it? Well, I can't help you. I don't know. I try to go live. I try to bring you on here so you can see if I can help you out. But, you know, you declined it. I can't do nothing about that there, you know. Let me put in his address. I just sold a house over there for about 25000 And the house didn't need nothing. And they trying to get 7000 or 6800 for a house that's fire damage. You tell me, do that make sense? Hell no. To the no, no, no. All right, let me pull up this house here. Send it. Oh, okay, let me send it again. Vision X. Boom. Go live with Vision X. Oh, yeah, this house is bad. Beep. What up, what up, what up, what up? How you doing? Hey, hey, how's it going? Happy Friday to you. Ready for the big weekend? Uh, I'm one of them uh, type of people that don't spend my money on the weekends. So all I'm going to do is work in the shop all weekend. That's right. Make more money on the weekend. That's where the opportunity is. So how can I help you today? Okay. Um, I currently have a real estate company, and um, I went into a bankruptcy um, last year. I have two homes offered to me right now through a relative um, for a total of twenty grand apiece. Um, as far as financing, I'm using somebody else's money. How should I set these houses up? Because I can't do anything in my name or in my business name for five years. Well, that sounds like a nice little pickle there. Not a problem, though, because yeah. guess what? You can always create a new business. Oh, really? Why not? If you say if they say you can't use this business, you can't use this. Why not make another entity? Because each entity is its own entity. Okay, so can I be the sole proprietor of the next entity? Because I actually have three other businesses that were not in the bankruptcy. I'm yeah, I would probably, and, and actually in my, in reality, what I would do if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't even put it in the LLC name. I would put it in a trust, and the LLC would be the beneficiary of it, one of those other LLCs. Got you. I do have a trust as well. Yeah, so I would title it. I would take title in the trust. So they would transfer it over into a trust. That trust, the beneficial interest of that trust would be a separate LLC that doesn't have anything to do with the bankruptcy or anything to do with, you know, that other stuff. So you want to keep that stuff separate. Okay, okay. Okay, now, should there be a – what kind of trust was this I set up? 
I don't want to go digging through my paperwork right now. I'll probably give you a call. Um, but should I set up a, a land trust or just yeah, a regular? It would be, they call it a land trust, but it's really not a land trust. What state are you in? I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, okay. So it's just a grantor trust. Um, so it's not a, they call it land trust, but I think a land trust only recognizing like 13 states or something. And people just say land trust and just throw it out there, but it's really not land trust. But it's a trust. Yeah. It's a grantor, uh, trust that you would need to set up. It's not hard to do. Right. Right. I know how to do it. Um, okay. Well, next I'm going to ask you for about five grand so I can get this two family I'm in right now going. That's all you need. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. You, you knew it was That's coming. All you need. I got my dollar on it. That's enough. I'm in on it. I got equitable interest with this dollar. So if I get this dollar to you, I'm in the deal. That's all it takes. Two percent return every six months. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) All right, bro. Glad I can help. What was your name again? My name's Adrian. Adrian. Good, good. So you in St. Louis. Yeah. uh, If you're around up by the airport area, hit me up. Because, you know, I'm always doing deals. And I'm always looking for heavy hitters out here that want to get in the game. I'm ready, man. I'm been, I've am been. i been trying to get myself prepared to come sit and talk with you and get in with you. All right, now. But as soon as I right, get bro. this rental going and land these two, I'm on my way. All right. All right. I'm ready. I'm waiting for All you. Right. Appreciate you. All right. All right. Let's see here. So, all right. There we go. Let me show y'all this house. Y'all ready to see this house or what? This house is ugly. It's a brick house. Let me see here. A whole dollar. You know I was going to bring at least a dollar. Drea, come on now. R-E-I, Drea. She said. All right, so there's the house. Ugly as all outdoors. Am I reflecting in a thing? Here we go. That's an ugly house, ain't it? Nice little back deck. She said it's just smoke damage in the kitchen. How she know the details of how bad the house was but don't know nothing? A detached garage or like a two-car garage, overgrown. Nice and bad back there. And here's some interior. Oh, yeah, it's smoke damage. Oh, definitely smoke damage. And when you start messing with this stuff, you know, this is start getting definitely beyond my scope of knowledge. Looks like they got a uh, working fireplace. That might help. Oh, yeah, that kitchen is toe up from the flow up. Anybody want to move into this house? They want 6800 for it. Got about 4500 in back taxes. From what I can see, we'll say 4600 I like to round up. There's a bed. You want to get that queen bed? That mud clean, though. It's two beds. They were sleeping on the floor. No no frames or nothing. No frames. You know, I know that furniture because I got a furniture store. But uh, that's why I said. Did anybody get hurt in there? Look at all that glass broke out, ceiling fans. Man, that house need a lot of work. This house need about $70,000 worth of work. Look at that bathroom. Go sit on that toilet and see how your butt feels. Take a shower up in there and see how you feel. Let that water sprinkle on you. That fire must have been tough. Oh, man, what part of the room is that? That must be where the fire was. Really bad. Wow, beyond my scope. So that's the house that they want to sell for $6,800. OMG, same thing I said. You won. So that's that. What do you think about that house? Can you save this? Is this a project you want to mess with? ARV, let me see something here. I don't know. She talking about some 7,200, but I don't think that's right. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh, dang it. I pulled us out the whole thing. What was the address again? What the heck going on? Oh, here we go. That's tax only deal. Exactly. You know, that's about what it's worth, 4,500. The tax is hell. I don't know what they're talking about. they talking that talk. Man, we've been on here 24 minutes. We've been on here a little long, longer than I thought. Uh-huh. Let me pull this house back up. Any other questions, comments, or concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? If you haven't already, give this video a like. Give this video a share if you care. And we're going live on Monday night. We're going to be talking about getting your leads ramped up for 2020. Getting them leads ramped up all the way up, all the way up, so you can get more leads than you can even possibly deal with. So Realtor.com has it saying it's worth seventy-eight thousand. I know that ain't right. I know that ain't right. 
They got to be lying. I don't believe that. Not at all. Let me scroll down. Let me see something here. Let me see if I can see some comps. Where they come up with this big number? Recently sold homes. Um, let's see here. They're selling from the range of forty six thousand to fifty two thousand. When was this? How are they gonna say it's worth that kind of money when they say something different right here? They saying the value is seventy eight thousand nine hundred at the top. And they got it as a two bedroom. That lady said it was a, a three bedroom. And those are the other houses that sold nearby. So where the hell they come up with seventy eight thousand? So the real number's probably like forty. Look for new builds in that area. Nah. Well, I don't know. That area kind of rough. Like I say, can you new build for fifty thousand? I mean, what does it cost to build a brand new house? Think about it like that. The bigger question is what will be what will what what will be what comes back on the title search. Exactly. They didn't quit claim deed and quit claim deed. That was another thing when I looked it up. They had multiple people quit claim deed the deal. So you don't know what the heck that can come up on there. All type of drama and problems. But yeah, I don't want to deal with I don't know if I want to deal with that house at all. I don't know if I can give them an offer that's worth it. It's a tax only deal, just like you said. Let me scroll up and see if I missed some other stuff up here at the top. Mm, she'll be there for the closing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see here. I'm over here working on a deal, cracking up and listening to this call. Chris, run, dude. Sunshine, I got to run. Dang, run for it. Run for it. Run. That's all they saying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I bet you don't. I don't know nothing either. That's why I'm asking all these dang old questions. A real tub.com. <laughs> Let's see here. Y'all silly. This person in La La Land. Uh oh. Chris should be a detective. Look how I got her confessing to stuff. Exactly. That's why you got to be a good question asker. That's all I be telling people to stop going into deals knowing stuff. Like I knew this probably wasn't going to be nothing, but you never know. I go in and ask questions to see what they say and see how they feel about it. Wait, so she actually owns a property? No, she doesn't own it. That lady I was speaking to was actually the mother. The daughter owns it. She got quick claim, deeded it over. Quick, quit claim. Somebody relinquished and gave up their claim to the deed of the house for free, a boyfriend that she don't want, and found out. Okay, notes for Chris live today. Yep, yep. So that's good. Hey, I was going in up here. Now I can't get back to the bottom without messing something up. Now I'm trying to scroll back down. Other than that, I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Like I say, Monday night, we going live. 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time on the YouTube channel and on the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. If you haven't joined the Woke Real Estate Investors Group, you sleep. It's free. Just go join it. Sign up. Let them know you're here. And if you haven't already, get my free JV agreement. Just dropped it yesterday. Got a bunch of people got it already. They're happy. Like, oh. It's a JV agreement where you can get multiple people on the deal. Say you got two, three, four, five wholesalers, two, three, four, five real estate agents, however many people. You can add multiple people on there or whatever so that you can get a deal going where everybody can eat off the deal and everybody's happy and satisfied and everything's in writing. A quality JV agreement. All you got to do is text JV. That's the keyword. Text JV to 31996. Text JV to 31996. You'll be in there like that there. The person sound like a pain. Now, I only can imagine what she'd be like going forward. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. All I need to do is sign this paper, get out of my way, and let me do my thing. But I don't even know if I can save them because the house only worth 50000 How much you think it takes to get that house fixed up? 50000 Ain't no money in it. It was like $50,000 worth of work to me. If a house worth 50000 and need 50000 in work, where you make money at? Just making sure. So I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.